If your original artwork became a part of your school or company's official logo, you'd expect some sort of compensation or credit, right? The 2003 case of Bouchot versus Baltimore Ravens Football Club, Inc. explores a similar scenario in the context of a professional sports club. In 1995, the National Football League moved one of its teams to Baltimore. The new team needed a name and logo. Upon learning that the new Baltimore team was considering calling themselves the Ravens, Frederick Bouchot, a local amateur artist, created a Ravens logo, comprising a winged shield. A month after the team officially adopted the name Ravens, Bouchot faxed his logo to the Maryland Stadium Authority, along with a request that it be forwarded to the Ravens president. Ultimately, National Football League Properties Incorporated, or NFLP, mistakenly used Bouchot's logo to produce the Ravens' Flying Bee logo. This official logo appeared on everything, from uniforms and banners to tickets and merchandise for several years. In 1997, Bouchot sued the Ravens and NFLP in district court for copyright infringement. The court determined that Bouchot successfully established his infringement case. The Fourth Circuit affirmed the liability finding and denied a rehearing. Likewise, the U.S. Supreme Court didn't agree to hear the case, which was sent back to district court for a damages determination. The district court determined Bouchot wasn't entitled to any of the football club's profits. Bouchot appealed to the Fourth Circuit claiming he wasn't afforded the statutory presumption that an infringer's revenues are completely attributable to the infringement. 